to perform the group manual muscle test for finger distal interphalangeal joint extension, the patient is seated at the table, the arm is on the table and pronated, the metacarpophalangeal joint is flexed, and the finger is stabilized at the uh, middle phalanx. So you grab the middle phalanx on both sides uh, with one hand to stabilize that. And then resistance is applied to the dorsal surface of the distal phalanx in the direction of flexion while the patient is trying to extend it. So I'm going to push here. I don't want you to let me move you. Hold, 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 hold. Good. This again is a fairly weak motion. Uh, so you have to test out a number of people to get an idea of what normal is like. That uh, is the group test for this finger. Each finger will have its own group test uh, because it is the group of muscles that extends the uh, distal interphalangeal joint that we are testing. Uh, so primarily the, the inner ossei, the lumbricals and the volar and dorsal uh, inner ossei. Um, so uh, that's the group test for the index finger, and then you do a group test for the middle finger, ring finger, and small finger uh, separately.